Well, number one, I'd like to say what a lovely birthday uh, it is. It is my uh, youngest baby. Baby, some baby, eh? Yeah, he's 31. But this is my youngest child's birthday today. I had a lovely chat with him earlier on and what have you. So I've been a bit distracted today. I uh, think, oh, just to consider, 31 years ago today, I was in labour giving birth. <laughs> oh, thank goodness me, that's all over. Right. Right, important, very important now. I, as I said, I was distracted yesterday. I left or uh, didn't give you a step here, which is important to when we come and sew it out. Now, starting from the top, we are sewing in red those three lines to show us the guidelines to put down the zip. Then we're sewing the two blue lines that are going to hold down the zip. That's brilliant. The next green line is the top line. Now, that one, it's slightly longer than the others. And then you've got the, the other green line before we start doing the embroidery. But that top line, you can see I've got highlighted now. So it's red, red, blue, blue. And then the top green one, I want you to pick that up and move it down. And you may see some strange things on my screen now. And move it down to underneath where we finished, no, to where we finished doing what what I've shown you here, never mind about the name, where we finished doing what I've shown you, the more or less the embroidery that is on the bottom half of the pencil case. That green line had to get moved down there and I am just making sure uh, that that is the green one and how I will do that is just by, oh, I lost the plot there, so let's go back up here and see that it's gone so that green line yeah is the bottom one so that one is now all the way down underneath all the embroidery that we've done on this lower half of the pencil case correct now we can move on now <coughs> coming back to our project i did say to you well i want to do some lettering on the top all right so over here on the left screen and the toolboxes we're going to pick up lettering now i have said that i am going to do a huge well a video just on lettering but so far so good we'll just you know do what we can i uh talked on messenger to a couple of my friends when i know her granddaughter's called delantria when i know the other one's daughter daughter is called lizzie but i'm not sure how to spell them so if they did come back to me i had used it as a for example but they're not are they so i mean it's sunday you know we're all up to the, all sorts of no good so let me think what well, what will i use i don't want to use my name because i got empty flipping ones of these uh I don't know how to spend how to spell Alandria. I don't know how to spell Lizzie, I can only expect it would be like the normal way you would spell spell Lizzie. So I'm gonna put that in. L I Z Z Y. I think that's how you spell Lizzie, isn't it? Oh I didn't get the second Z in. Let's put Pardon me. The second thing. Now you see how it always comes in the centre of your uh work bringing me bobsies right so i'm just gonna put that there and now i'm gonna play with it a bit so obviously it's highlighted uh it's not the color i want and it's highlighted but i'll come down here now and as i showed you before once you open this up you can use the dang arrow key yeah to look at different plot and you can see how our work is changing depending on how I'm tapping down mm. my uh well, that's quite nice the depth I like that yeah I'm not going to go any further uh, if I go down if I go down another few you can see how it changes yeah mm, it's all all I think yeah well, it's, it's how it is, isn't it? Uh, but I'm thinking of doing this for 
Oh, that's quite nice. That's Centurion. I don't know. That's quite nice. Actually, I think I'm going to stay with that. Right, so click off of that. That's Lizzie in Centurion font. Okay. And then I'm going to catch on a bit. And I'm going to say, well, there's loads, loads more we could do. But, you know, that's another video. So I'm just taking this very, picking it up. I'm ordering shift and I'm going to resize it because i got to remember my margin. Because you have to always bear in mind that this is this is a turnout margin, so you don't want to lose the name. And you certainly don't. I don't want it. I have to go back a little smaller, shift, and push it back just a teeny bit because I don't want the end of the Y getting caught up under these parts, which is a full back seam. Yeah, I might even go smaller. I'm going to just catch hold of it again. No, catch hold of it again. Hold and shift. I am going to make it a little bit smaller. Now, I could break this apart, which I might do more. This is part of the video. But I might break that apart. Yeah, now, you see, I've got individual letters. <laughs> so... Uh, oh, as I said, this is a video I didn't actually want to show. Uh, but having got this the way I want it, I can now. I could, I can. I could say, well, come up, hell. Bless you. Uh, come down. Z, bless you. And go up. Y, bless you. Now, do you see how I have totally transformed that uh, just by breaking it apart I can say oh, there's an awful lot to uh, take into account when you do lettering but that's a very quick for instance about how you can take a straight line name and just uh, break it apart and manipulate it to your own design i you looking at it and thinking mm, I'm not sure and I'm not sure what material I'm... So I could just leave it in that colour because I don't know at the moment what colours I'm going to use for this material. So having done that little tiny bit, I'm going to hit save on my pencil one. I'm going to hit save. If her mother comes back and says there's only one Z, well, I'd be spitting you, wouldn't I? Anyway, uh, so... In whichever way, and maybe you may want to wait until you see me give you a really good uh, video on manipulating uh, letters within a name uh, or arcing or you're doing something different uh, to what the program will allow you. But anyway, there's one thing. So, so I've got Lizzie written across the top now. Right, next stage... Uh, we need, uh, say, I don't know what, what your background colour was, but say it was purple, who knows. Now, the next stage is to reiterate, basically, uh, that line. I want to duplicate it. Having duplicated it, it should have come out the bottom. Why grown it? All I want to do is duplicate that line. I come down to the bottom, it's not happening. Okay, I will pick up that line. Oh, it got to be one of the more ways of skinning the cat. Pick up that line and say copy. Yeah? Then I am going to say paste. Yeah, now it's done it. These are one of the quirks. When you're working with this size of 5.5 and you're working with Ash, it's a quirk. I shut it down, I opened it back up, it wouldn't do what I want. Now it has. It's I but I couldn't use duplicate. I have to go and use copy. Whatever. Now I've got this one. I'm not going to change the colour because obviously after uh, Lizzie done out in the um, 
light turquoise. I'm quite happy for red again because I've got no more red, so that's just a colour stop. But that is now going to sew all around the top again. And I'm going to put it a strip of run, right? So that's a really good run. That's going to get you all over and uh, lay all that fabric down. Now, the next thing is uh, basically the back. Now, uh, you know, as I said, when I cut the stitch out, I'll show you the steps you need to do with the fabric that you need to do to make this work. I'm just showing you how to program it in the first place. I'm not showing you the ins and outs of why at the moment, right? Because I can't. I can show you that on the machine in a minute. Right, now... <coughs> I there's there's two ways of addressing this now. I need a segment to be open here. <laughs> so I need in some ways there's, there's two ways of doing it. I can either go round with my mouse all over again, but I want to show you something different. So I'm gonna duplicate oh and this time it's working. So I duplicated it again and now I'm gonna highlight that and change it to a different colour so we don't get upset. So I'm gonna call that green, right? So now, it's a colour stop. You need, you really need to do some that now. But also, I am, in, I am trying. I am going to introduce you into another feature of the machine. So, edit objects. I highlighted my last stitch over the top, and I'm coming down to knife. Here we go, knife. Yeah. Now we need a plate. I. I Oh, how can I say? There's two ways of doing this. Instead of duplicating, you could have started at a place you want to go, followed it all around, and stopped at a place you want to go. But what I've done is duplicated it again, and this time with... I need to make sure i got this one highlighted. Yeah? And I come over here to knife, and... It's not very big, is this? So I'm just going to go probably from here. Enter, and then probably here, put the knife back on, enter, yeah, now I cut it, now, uh, I can now delete the portion that I cut, can you see on screen? Are you recording that? So, uh, I hope you can see on screen, that was using a knife tool. So, we, I made a cut there and a cut there, so it literally cut the stitch line. Uh, the red you can see underneath is, is the red of above. And if you look on my right side now, and uh, I'm highlighting this one. Oh, if I highlight it, you can't see it. I'll click off a minute. Can you see my last bit has got the cut in it? Now, that cut is going to allow you to turn the whole thing inside out. Um, I think that's about it for now. Uh, the next thing I need to go... Uh, oh, well, as you should do, actually, let's bring up the whole thing, not in front of us. I don't know how many minutes I'm on now. But up on your toolbar, yeah, you should be able to find one that says player, whether you hatch or whether you've you know, Uji Uji, or any other software that you're using, it's a stitch player. So let's hit play, right? Godness, why that's in there. It makes me smile. I am going to make it go faster and faster. Throwing it down, because where are we now? Well, we've finished. As quick as that. Right, okay. Brilliant. Um, that's it for digitising. Now, oh, although that, that is it for digitising, there are lots of steps of where you put the fabric, how you put the fabric, in the mood that you put the fabric, when you need to 
pull it up or pull it down because obviously we don't want all this outside stitching on our liner okay and then obviously i will the last bit where we got this gap i will show you how to close that gap once we have everything done and turns out the right way around okay brilliant I know throughout these last two videos, I've been asking you to take on trust what I'm saying because I can't physically show you. Uh, if you watch the next video, which will be the stitch out, there is where I explain to you and it becomes clear to you all the steps we've just done, which ends up with the finished product. Thank you for watching me. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for adding me, uh, you know, to your notification bell so you know I put a new one up. Please come and join us on uh, Love Rock Design Facebook page. Uh, please like the video. Uh, nobody seems to like these. A lot of people watch them, but nobody seems to like them. Anyway, doesn't matter. Uh, I hope you're having a bit of fun playing along with me.